EA Sports. It's in the game. Good afternoon, everybody. Mike Patrick along with Kyle Peterson. Great to have you with us from historic Rosenblatt Stadium in Omaha. Every year, thousands of fans make the pilgrimage here to Omaha, Nebraska, the home of the College World Series. So on behalf of EA Sports, the NCAA, and ESPN, welcome to MVP 07 NCAA Baseball. Sorry it took so long for me to say something. I had to put my headphones in. Just when I was about to, they had to play fucking music that's copyright. I'm probably going to get a notice from YouTube again. Awesome. 
because that's what I needed. Hmm. Anyways, I think all of our grades went up. I don't recall us having a C pitching, C plus batting and all that. I think it all went up. Except for base running. I think that dropped to a B plus because it's like, how are you guys struggling to make steal bases and run the bases or something? Anyways, enough dealing dowling. I'm still seething after yesterday's embarrassing losses to Army and Virginia Tech. So, uh, yeah, I'm ready to run it back against in this game. I'm ready for it. Nothing's changed on the recruiting front. And what better opponent to start opening... What better opponent to begin our conference conference time? We get Sacramento State. What a better what better opponent to begin conference play than Sacramento State? Six and thirteen and they're ranked seven. Dead last in the conference, folks. I have been looking forward to this. I wish I would have been on the stream earlier, but you know. Stuff happens. If you follow my Twitter, you probably saw that I notified you guys letting you know that I had to mow the lawn. Anyways, we got this embarrassing 12 and 11 record here. Meanwhile, Fresno State, Louisiana Tech, and Hawaii all have records of 14 wins or more. And none of them are in the double digits in loss. Their loss column is not in the double digits. Screams mediocrity for us, doesn't it? And Nevada is no better. There are only one... They're only one win away from reaching 500, while we are one loss away from getting down to 500 record-wise. If anything, if this means anything, we really need to fucking win against Sacramento State. At the very least, this first game, I was a bit loud, I'm sorry. We need to at the very least win this first game. The second, okay, so we got three games against them and three games against Louisiana. I didn't even know we had a third game against them. Um... So I'll play this first one, probably send the second one, and then for the third one, I'll halfway sim it, depending on how well the team performs with me simulating. Alright, let's go Let's go play these fucks. Actually, has the recruiting thing changed? No. I think, it, yeah, it might be weekly. I think the recruiting system works weekly. Yeah, I, I think our grades for uh, pitching, batting, and fielding have all changed. I have to look. I have to look back up previous streams for that. I'm not I'm not certain myself. So Lewis Clem gets the start. Well actually we shouldn't even need to start him because Buddy Buddy Merrill and Barry Colbert are all or they both have their stamina at, at max again. So I think they're ready to go. I think they can I think they can start. Which, honestly, yeah, I, I think I do want to have... We need to get some bounce-back wins here. And I feel like Buddy Merrill today is capable of doing it. I know I, I, know I rag on him a lot for fucking up, but I think this time around is, is, is a different story this time around. At least it has to be, you know. We need this guy to... He's the, he's the best pitcher on the freaking team. He's got to play like it. I mean, seriously. This team has all the makeups to get some wins on Sacramento State. And I expect us to win too. Somehow Magley Bowl is not fully recovered despite having several days off. So not oh, damn. We'll have them in the we'll have them in the fifth spot. We'll have them in the fifth. For once, for once they changed the batting lineup. Chen will go fifth in the batting lineup. Or maybe I should put him up first. Have him be the leadoff batter. Or last. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll do last. We'll have him go dead last. Freshman. The freshman can go last. All right, let's do this. Not not the deadly. Let's do this. God, the two and five record. It makes me want to gas. Gas. It makes me want to throw up seeing that two and five record. I swear. We'll do five p.m.
All right, now I can play the audio because I don't think we'll be struck with that copyright issue. Fucking YouTube's gonna be gone. YouTube's about to jump my ass with that shit, I swear. They're gonna be like, what is this? What is this music playing I see? Little old Sacramento State. Anthony Cohen, the starting pitcher. We got those Yankee pinstripes. There we go, that's a good start to this one. Really good start for this one. There we go. And Eric Bennett gets to second base with the deception deceiving the center fielder thinking Lambert was going to run for home. He didn't even catch it. If I actually wanted Lambert to run for home, he actually might have gotten it. Now I'm a bit disappointed in myself. Maybe I should have taken that and ran with it. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Oh fuck, what did I swing at that? I feel like he's gonna throw a fastball. I feel like it's coming. Nope, that was a changeup. Oh boy. Wow. 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 What? Okay, that's. That's lucky, even for me. That's 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 the type of luck I typically don't get. Okay. You know what? This is fine. Anyways, I can play I can play music now because I'm no longer susceptible to the no no music, the no no stuff. Yeah, there we go. And like before, we got Chattel Zuna rounding out the second. Now, if he had more power, he would have definitely been able to hit that to the outfield. All the way to the track, the warning track. Maybe even the wall, or better yet, he would have had a home run. Oh shit! Damn, that was a good catch. I ain't, I ain't even mad at that. There we go. That's now four runs. All in one inning. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna, might 
I'm sitting in my chair, but I may have to switch to the yoga ball. There we go. Round the bases. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to switch over to my yoga ball. Hold on one second. Oh, wow. They got the relief pitchers already. They already got them going. I need like five seconds. Oh, my gosh. We're already down the weight check. <laughs> I make too much noise because my room isn't as big as I originally anticipated. Alright, yoga ball time. It's so good to be on the yoga ball again. I haven't been on it in like three weeks. My friend, yoga ball. I have missed you, my friend, yoga ball. Damn it. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh, he dropped it! How the fuck is this team? How did he drop it? How the hell did he drop that shit? That should have been an easy out. Damn it. You know, after being massacred by Virginia Tech and Army, this is a pretty good game to have to start. Of course, we can't rest up the idea that we are gonna we're gonna automatically win, and we still gotta put four more runs. Six is not enough. And we shelt their starting pitcher in one inning. All right, that's it. Oh my God, Buddy Miro has a six run, six to nothing lead. Y'all, if he, if we cannot clinch this game as with him as the starter, what the? F I have, I have no idea what to do after that. I, I might have to go into the corner of my room and just stay there, stop streaming instantly. Like what an opportunity he has here to just get a, a statement, a statement win as a starting pitcher. Of course, we can't make shitty pitches like those. Get it? There we go. And what the fuck was that? I I tried to get him to, to throw it sooner than that, and he just said, nah. Just, he just straight up said, nah. And there we go. Double play. I'm still on my work pants. I should probably change out of them a little bit.
All right, I need a second. Oh boy. Oh, yeah, oh boy. He's not good. Never mind. Reverse jinx, baby. that ball fly into the outfield. Pitchers with some pretty good hands. I'm not having a lot. That's some nice. He got some nice hands right there. I mean, yeah, the ball was flying practically to him, but you know, I'm giving credit where credit is due. Especially when we're beating them six to nothing, and we're only in the top of the second inning. I was late. And that was a that was a two seam, and I wasn't expecting him to, to fling a two seam at me. Two seam at me, you know, kind of like that. And just like that, bases are loaded. This number 16 guy, bro. Man, is huge. He got that wagon. Oh, 
Oh wow, they're not gonna give it to us? Okay, that's cool. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Or that. That should be a base hit. Oh wow, he actually dropped the two. Stolen base for Aaron Bennett. I swear, with 93 speed, it's, it's too easy a lot of the time, man. It's just too easy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Son of a bitch. Oh, whatever. Oh, what a catch by Conover. Come on. There we go. What a play. What a, what an incredible play by Conover. Let's get that. Let's get that thumbnail. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Got him. I want to get a strikeout though. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get Merrill to get some strikeouts. That's a strike, man. Come on. Oh, let's have the ref ump can blow calls feature on. That was definitely a blow call. Okay, that one not so much.
All right, we got the three. Yeah, that was a nice hit, beautiful hit by Fueler. And he got that time. You want him, him, go on one. There's another beautiful hit. Oh damn it! I thought he was gonna throw. It oh no, he threw it to the pitcher. I thought he was gonna throw it to the catcher again. If I knew he was going to drop it, I would have had fewer keep running to home. Gotta play him back. Gotta roll two. Get ready for two. Fire three. Hit your cut. They got it there. Just barely beat out the catch turn. Oh, why did I swing at that? Mm. Yes, he did. No. There we go, that's another run on the game. Ah, oh, good catch. We get a seventh run on the board though, that's fine. Damn it, I was trying to get it.
And they gotta run. I took too long to throw it back to first. Or to home plate. Yeah, of course he would check swing that shit. Sure, why not? What? Why did you? Oh my gosh, why? First of all, did you not tag the fucking base? He didn't go in the direction of tagging third base. Instead, he, he, he opts to try and reach for him. Alright, that should be a, that's a pop-up, that should be it. That inning was fucking stupid. I'm just gonna say that right there. That inning was, <laughs> it's so stupid. Too late on the swing. I'm getting better though, I'm getting better at timing these, man. There we go. Lambert first, and Lambert gets the leadoff hit. And now Bennett gets the hit. Fast balls. Bye, Vern. Here come fast balls. No. Damn, this dude just has the hand for that man. <laughs> He's freaking insane. Cocaine's out of a drug. That all came in 2015. Alright, there's at least still a chance to get a run this inning. Or not. Aim just said fuck you. Yeah, no matter what team it is, they do not swing at literally anything that's outside the paint or outside of the box. If it ain't in the box, they ain't swinging at it.
finally, he finally swung at something that wasn't in the box. I cannot get strikeouts. It's like it's like the rule of thumb. You are not to get a strikeout ever. <laughs> For me, getting strikeouts is like the amount of strikeout. No, no, no. I'm gonna just say it. Being strikeouts is like being the virgin. I can never score. Just like that, I can never get strikeouts. I'm never allowed. <laughs> it's never allowed. Yo, there we go. Yeah, more hits. Keep running, my friend. Keep the running. Oh, he's gonna get a triple. Yeah. I don't even know who that was when I wasn't paying attention. Conover, so that should be Balfour. Okay. Balfour with a triple. That's like his second on the season. Oh, he was so close. <laughs> the, freaking, the freaking dude was just sitting forever waiting to think. Can I throw it to third? Nah. Another rule of thumb. I can never get enough walks. A walk is once every several games. We'll get one run in, and that's good enough. And that's it. That's a quick inning. We're through six, folks. This is probably going to be it for Merrill. I need him to stay. I need him to stay. Out, I need him to stay out of trouble. You know, keep him clean. You know, keep my boy clean. Don't let. Don't get caught up with this all stick. And give up a shit ton of shit ton of runs. Wow. Yeah, we finally got a strikeout. We got a strikeout! It's gonna show like one out of 50 potential strikeouts for this stream. I can just see that now. We got, we got our strikeout. Right, can I get another one? Can we keep gunning for more strikeouts? Or is that just gonna have to be the only one? This will be it for Merrill. I'm gonna probably uh, pull him after this inning. Strike. No, no, what? No, okay, okay, but what What the fuck is that? Hey, I do not know that is you doing all these Discord notifications, but I appreciate it. About the quantum TV situation, though, I'm not gonna bother until he says something stupid again. Once he does that, then I'll then I'll pick up pick up on it. There's just not much to talk about right now. He's still he's rambling on about whatever TVs that he gives a shit about. So there's really not much to go over. And I don't really feel like giving him views and potential advertisement opportunities watching his videos. Besides, I need to get back to my true passion in life. It's not even YouTube, it's just sports. That is my true passion. 
I definitely will try to do streams about dumbass YouTubers like uh, the Amazing Lucas. Definitely would like to do that. Streams Amazing Lucas. That Harmon Smith guy who's like a Nintendo fanboy through and through. Who doesn't make sense on his talks. Maybe I'll do uh, a stream talking about Jim Sterling's awful video on Elden Ring. I don't know. There's a lot up in the air for me right now. So many things, yet I don't have the time to do them. It's not even like I have to pay- oh shit. Okay, I gotta go back to focusing on this game. Nope, that wasn't it. That ain't it, Chief. That wasn't it either. That was surprisingly good. And that one, wasn't it? Oh, that was a quick ending. Alright. <laughs> Meryl, get the fuck out. I do not want you blowing this game. Let's give it to someone who's actually capable of <laughs> I'm kidding. Norris, I, I got confidence in Norris. I don't think he'll pull that shit on me. See, look at that. Already first pitch and it's a foul ball. Nice catch, bro. bro! <laughs> oh my god, dude! Yo, I was just, I was just giving Norris the opportunity, man. I'm, I'm out here like Norris. You got this, bro. I, I have faith in you. You can do this. You won't disappoint me. You won't disappoint me like I'm your dad or some shit. Nah. Man, it's just said, how do I, how do I find a way to, to piss this man's off? And he's about to piss me off again, because I thought for a second that was a fucking hit, man. Come on. What is this BS? Now I'm sliding back to first, that's good. This man has a bend but don't break approach. I swear to God, that is the case with them. That's the case with so many of our pitchers. Merrill, Colbert, Norris. These guys have this bend but don't break attitude with their with their style of pitching. It's it's incredibly frustrating when two of the three pitchers I just named are starters. It's like what the hell?
Uh, yes, okay. And that's Ozuna. Ozuna's been doing pretty good. He's only a designated hitter, which means he doesn't get to play a position, for those of you who don't know. But he... He's done a very good job as our designated okay. hitter. Oh shit, why did I swing at that? I think his secondary position how... Oh, no, no, no. I think his secondary position is catcher. But we already have Wayne Chen there, so there's no need to have him play it. It's like a... It's like redundant at that point. A he's a luxury good. So, for him to be designated hitter is just pretty good for now. Alright, maybe if we can get our act together here, we can... We can get on a run, get a shit more runs in. Get more points on the board, get more runs on the board. Or not. Damn it, that was a good one. That was, I should have swung at that one. Oh boy. Eh, no. Fuck. <laughs> that's, that's my ADC. That's my bad. Shouldn't have done that. Waste of an inning. Waste of my time. I will say this though, Norris has an excuse to be a bend but don't break approach pitcher. He's only like 57 with like a lot of his pitch ratings, they're all in the 50s. So I mean, for him he has an excuse to be a guy that, bend, that has the bend but don't break style pitching. He doesn't really have a choice. Yoinked out of the air by Conover. Or at least he had to lunge for it because it was twisted around. Oh fuck. Okay, I was I was just thinking to myself, oh god, do I have is there someone at first that was scared for a second that was yeah, at first and I just remembered. Nothing yet. Oh there it is. There comes the bend but don't break approach. Right there, the home run. Fuck. I'm saving all of our I want all of our other pitches to be used for the later games. The games that I'll be simulating. Fars, Fars, or Ferris, whichever, however you pronounce it. Uh, I keep so late or early on when to press the button. first. 
time for the top of the lineup with Lambert and Bennett. Rolling out the oh, fuck. <laughs> Why did I swing at that? Well, I guess we'll just get eight runs this one. <laughs> Maybe it's for the best. Maybe we are saving all of our other runs for later on this uh, this series against Sacramento State. We gotta get these wins though, man, because we're fucking 12 and 11 right now. Because we just we're we're masochists. We're a team of masochists, and we couldn't help ourselves in losing to UCF and Virginia Tech twice. Oh, there we go. And with that 93 speed, he's going to get in. So that's nine runs on the game. Wee! Land, you bitch. Thank you. All right, never mind. <laughs> I just thought for a second, you know, I guess we're just saving all of our runs for the next two games. Till you just pull a reverse card on me. And I'm the one user controlling them right now. Fuck! That would have been another run! That would have been another run! That would have been another run! I don't get it! We have these dominant ass games like this. And I'm still on sophomore difficulty, so I, don't, I, I really don't get this. And for some reason, first base did not throw it to his pitcher. That might have actually ended the, the, the hard offense for the game. Look at us! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> That's 11 now! Oh man, they got a nearly full crowd in this one. In the Battle of California here in this conference. Yeah! More runs. Or not. He probably would have whiffed, but I don't care. I was so ready to hit that. Wait, what? Why? Why did he throw it? I don't get this. What the fuck is happening right now? I was like, okay, well, that's it. We did enough job. We did enough damage on offense. No, I think out of all of them, first base, the guy at first base is a is a prime absolute masochist. He fucking loves pain. Like, I mean, the fact that he didn't throw it to second, the fact that he didn't throw it up at all, he has, he's a full-blown masochist. You can't deny that. We're all the way around the fucking order now. We're back to Chen. Oh, that's gonna drop. That's gonna drop. That's gonna drop. Damn it! No! <laughs> he almost got in! We have 14 runs! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> this is... This is absolutely stupid. This is sheer stupidity. I'm gonna stop at Forrest because he's a little better than Norris. Norris might give a... Might give up another run here. I don't want that. That's good. Yoink. Ooh, he actually swung outside the zone. I like that. It's so hard, man. It's like, it feels so rewarding when they actually do swing out of the zone. Oh. 
and you know you deceived them heavily. It just feels so good. Oh, and it's off the way. No! What the fuck was that? Oh, shit, boss. Here we go. <laughs> Not only did it hit off his leg, that probably hurt like hell, because it hit his shin. But it even missed Austin Brandt. What the fuck happened there? He got it. Okay. Just one more. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, that did nothing. My pitches are all over the place, so he has no idea what to expect. Oh, got him swinging. I was really hoping he'd swing at that, so I wasn't afraid to have it be out of his own. And you gave up a run. I have no words right now. I'm disappointed. Alright, there we go. <laughs> like, can we get this fucking game over with? Shit. Thank god, man. Damn. I'm like... Can we end this stupidity? I'm done. Let's go. I wanna get this game over and done with. Look how many fucking out bats everyone had. Everyone either had five or six. Mayor was the only one with five. The only one with one hit was Chen, which is acceptable considering the fact he's a backup catcher. Everyone except Lambert, Mayer, and Chen had two runs. Ozuna had four hits and so did Bennett. Balfour, Mayer, Lambert, Brandt, they all had three. Brandt had three RBIs, man. He fucking killed it this game. Everyone killed it this game. Everyone did a great job. We had three errors on the game. Chen, Brandt, Conover, Bennett, Mayer, Lambert, Fior all had doubles. Chen, Brandt, Conover all had RBIs. Oh, Balfour, Mayer, and Lambert, Fior also had. Sacrifice fly was Mayer with the second on the play. Bennett has now eight stolen bases on the season. Alright, good game. <laughs> fucking domination. Sheer fucking domination. Alright. Can I play audio now without having music? There we go.
like scared of. I'm scared for my life that to not get fucking copyright struck. And we won the quits. We won the simulated game five to three. No fucking idea who scored what. And for this one, we will have. So Cobra will get the start. That's good. Cool. Oh shit, no. That's not, not what I want to do. I'm oh, dead. So we're up 5 to 1. Now 5 to 2. 6 to 2. 6 to 3. There we go. And Musina gets his fifth save of the game. Or the season, excuse me. Colbert. Cobra gets the winning pitcher, Taylor's the winning, uh, the losing pitcher, excuse me. Now I have to intervene. Lambert had two runs. Bennett got walked, had two RBIs, three hits. He was great out there. That means he hit base every single time. Maglio Ball only had one hit, but he got walked once. Brant, two walks, two RBIs, one hit, and one run. Fior and five at bats only had one hit, but he had an RBI. Ozuna one for three, one for four from Bowles. He's still coming back from his injury, so you know, shit happens. Conover one for two. Mayer one for four. Not very good for him. Not very good out of him. Brent, Bennett, Bowles, Fior all had RBIs. Bennett, Lambert, Fior all had doubles. Bowles with the third error of the season. Conover, Mayer, and Bowles all were caught stealing. So Bennett didn't even attempt to steal a base? Okay, that's stupid. Alright, well, right, whatever. You know what? We, we get the win. We get the win, so what does it matter? We dominated Sacramento State. Our record has improved! 5 and 11. Not good. Not very good. But still better than what we were. Which was 12 and 11, for sake. Let's go! Look at the concurrent entrance! Let's go! We got a chance to get just all right. All right. So we we have a chance to get Justin McConnell, Tyler Wilcox, Dale Johnson. Dale Johnson's not happy. Um, same with Cody Duvall. Tony Levi might be halfway. Don't know. Gotta go with that one. And Nick Dixon. We have a chance to get a shit ton of recruits. We just gotta keep. We just gotta keep. Uh, we gotta keep begging. Cannot tell for the life of me what the fuck these stats are. No idea what to, what to make of them. It's because the screen is just so... It's a bit fuzzy over there. Because this isn't, this isn't HD graphics. This is like 480 at best. 480p at best. But McConnell's got a very good feeling despite average power and contact. Despite his average power and his above average contract, that's a really nice building. And his speed is 65, so that could become good in the, in the, in the future, you know. Cody Duvall. Below average, or above average contact. Average power. Decent fielding, decent speed, I'll definitely take that. And Matthew Heck just doesn't give a fuck about us. Either that or we haven't done shit to try and warrant getting him over here. Also, he's only eligible for two years, so... I won't be able to do much with him anyways. Cody Duvall has 40 years. We got so excited to see how many kids we can bring over. Bucky Chambliss, uh, let's see, Mike Cooper, still trying to get him over here, but... Let's give him the recruiting package.
Nick Dixon. Let's give him... I actually want to send a scout to one of his games. That could actually bump up his uh, interest a lot. I feel like what I'm looking at with the skill level is the trajectory of all of his um, attributes. Like, they all seem like they'll increase over time drastically like it. But they're all shooting upwards, if you can see on the screen. I have, I have no idea. <laughs> I've only played... I've barely got enough time into this game. Like, now I'm getting a lot into it because I'm playing so much this week. I'm just pouring all my time into it, really. Either at home after work now or before work. Fucking Chandler's. Brian Byers. Um... What I want. See, as long as the interest meter is past halfway, I don't have to keep going with with guys like Justin McConnell. I can sort of slow down with that. Oh man, I just don't have the recruiter. Okay, I'm not gonna use any more points. I'm gonna save them up. And hopefully, after we play Louisiana Tech, I can actually pour some more. Holy shit, we're first in the conference? Wait, 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 what the fuck? Holy shit, we're first in the conference. Oh, it's because we're 3 0. <laughs> yeah, um, so for those who don't know how college works, you have your overall record, but once you open conference play, your conference record will dictate how many wins you, or where you're positioned in the conference. So we won our first three games in conference play, we're automatically now 0-3. Well, or 3-0, excuse me, while Sacramento State is 0-3 at the bottom. So only us, Sacramento State, New, uh, Louisiana Tech, and Fresno State, only... Our four teams, those four teams, have seen conference play so far. That's not so bad. Yeah, so I guess recruiting just changes on the week. So it's like every other college game, at least like college football. The NCAA football games from EA Sports. Alright, let's go play Louisiana Tech. I wanna get this. I wanna get ready for this. Several top glove manufacturers have expressed interest in sponsoring our program. If we win a game in our March 28th series against Pacific, we might be able to get our hands on some level 1 gloves for the guys. Do you accept? Yes. There's no point in declining any challenge that they give you. You might as well just keep going. You might as well accept whichever ones they throw at you. So we get a home game against Louisiana Tech. That's cool. And they are a stout team. Fuck me. Um. Alright. Alright, you know what? Let's, let's go. Let's do this. I will not hesitate to walk Cowley and Tanner. I will not hesitate. That shit. Given their contact ability against varieties. So their pitcher is an, a record under 500. Clem is two and one. So we know what's at stake here. Oh, we're both C overall teams. Awesome. Oh yeah, the 7 p.m. game. We got that night game going. Let's go. Got a night game. Dude, they're almost in the top 25. They're only ranked 42. These are the conference games. That's these are the conference games that I look forward to. That's what I wanted to say originally. This is what it's all about.
These guys got that Texas Ranger uniform style, or at least the colors make me think Texas Ranger. Oh, and we gave up a leadoff hit. He tried it. He was thinking. He was thinking real hard about. <laughs> Should I go for a second? No. <laughs> I love how he has to do a little skip. The skip is a little. <laughs> the fucking skip. He's like, I don't have enough arm strength for that. Let me put, let me add a little skip to my. <laughs> Let me add a little skip right there. Yoink! Alright, it's a fielder's choice. Better than an error, but you know, it's whatever. This game is between two of the top schools in this conference. Us and Louisiana Tech, so we gotta be ready for it. Anthony Bennett! Oh my god, it's Anthony Bennett, the former first overall pick from the 2014 NBA Draft. Or 2013 NBA Draft. I can't believe it. He's he's back in college now playing for Louisiana Tech. That shit's insane. I thought he was trying to make that comeback through the G League, but I guess it's whatever. All right, all just aside, that's fucking hilarious how he has a name, Anthony Bennett. God, I still can't believe my cast drafted him. So, clearly with the roster that Louisiana Tech has constructed, they're clearly going to be gunning for the, the conference title come conference tournament time. They're going to be shooting for that conference championship. And we're going to be one of the teams to stop them. Or at the very least get in their way. Yes, you did. Oh, come on. You're going to call that... I like how that one he said now he didn't go. When the ball was nowhere near The ball was nowhere near the zone and he called it nah he was a ball. <laughs> he didn't go, not on that one. Shit. And that's not a good thing to start off this game with. Three up and three down. Not what you want to see, but you know it happens. I'll do something on my phone in a second. We got lucky on that one. Oh, fuck. Gotta hit two now. I, was, uh, I heard, run for two now. I was looking at my phone as he was saying, I was like, oh shit. I'm looking away. Right there too, man. Damn it. Oh man, this is gonna be pain. 
I, I, I feel immense pain approaching. I have to feel like we, I feel like we need to at least get one on these guys. If we can just win one of, of these three games against Louisiana Tech, I could be satisfied. Because they're such a good team. I mean, if you saw it, you saw the starting pitchers. They're all over the 80s. They're way over the 80s. So, you know, taking, winning a game is going to have to be completely earned. No, no givens here. Not like, not, not, this is not Sacramento State we're talking about, folks. This is, this is the cream of the crop, I think, I would say, in our conference. Unless that's Hawaii. And that's a run. That's unfortunate. And that's going to be four. Lewis Clem is definitely the weak link of this fucking rotation, man. This, pit, this starting pitching we have... Sometimes I'm like, why would I actually start this guy, like, unironically uh, against these dudes? I really would have been better off just... I, I think I would have been better off starting Hasegawa. Uh, this is a mistake I won't make again. Alright, we're through two, but damn, man. We gave up four, four runs in all, all right there, all in this inning. And that's not enough. You could just tell by the way the ball flew out that that was just not going to be enough on the hit. There was enough contact, yes, but not enough power behind the swing. And that's what we're lacking with this team. Like, if we... Okay, we got a run. Or a hit in, but that's going to be an error based on error. Like, we have the guys. We have some good guys. But none of, none of these guys really have the power necessary to warrant a, a dangerous batting lineup. Or a dangerous contact lineup. But not a dangerous batting lineup in my eyes. Like, it's, it's rude to say batting lineup, but, like, batting lineups are capable of not just making contact. Guys are not only capable of making contact with the ball, but they can also get the ball to the outfield and quickly. Either it's a home run, or it's off the wall, to the warning track, you know, all that shit. And we just don't have that. We don't have a guy who can do that. At least, at least when it comes to me using the team. Maybe, maybe in simulation, guys are capable of doing that. But when I use this team, it doesn't matter. And that's what's more important, because I play a lot of these games. So I need these guys to, to like, hit, and hit with power. Perhaps maybe I should have been more concerned with getting guys who can do it. Oh, nice! He gave us the strike. Maybe I'm more. I should be recruiting wise more concerned about getting guys who can hit with power. But at the same time, contact is so crucial in baseball. You can have all the power in the world. You can be the Barry Bonds, the Mike McGuire. I think that's his name. Matt McGuire. One of the two. 
You can have all the power like them, but if you don't have the ability to make contact with the ball consistently, then what the fuck is the point? That's why I feel like contact is so important, but at the same time, you know, you still need to have some power, you know, laced behind your back. And we just don't have it on this team. That's kind of what I wanted to rant about just now. So that's why I'm, like, looking forward. Even if we have a good season this year, which I, I want, obviously, I'll, I, I'm still more so looking forward to what this offseason provides. Because we, we have a chance to get some top recruits, some very solid recruits even, if not top recruits, solid recruits, and maybe we can even get a transfer to. We can get some guys that are wanting to transfer, who want an opportunity but can't find another team besides ours. That's what we need. We need guys that want to transfer to us or come play for us. Yeah, man. I mean, Conover, very good, very good contact hitter, but just no power. I mean, 43 power is just not enough. Look at that. Like, easily makes contact with the ball. Just not enough power or anything. Damn it. That's not good. That wasn't good either. And bullshit. <laughs> Here it comes. He just barely kept the, his foot on the pad of the on the base. If there's any time to get guys on on base, it's the fourth day. We gotta get started here once we get done on defense. Gotta get through the top. Gotta get through the top of the fourth so we can get on offense. Trying to, to, you know, not throw too many fastballs. Like, I want to throw one soon, but not yet. Oh, that's a fly ball. And Mayers with the catch. Alright, we're through, we're through four. We've won three in a row. Our three-game winning streak now is on the line here. We gotta, we gotta get back in this one. Ah, oh, damn. That stayed on the right, or his left. That stayed on his left too. I'm, I'm upset that we couldn't get that. And that's another, it's another round out. Oh. Like, I feel like these aren't bad ones to hit or sw swing at. That one was. I don't know what the fuck I swung at that one, but, you know. 
We need to do something there, and I fucked it up. Really didn't. Really, really couldn't afford to do that shit. Oh fuck, Clem is actually down really low on his stamina. We need to sub him out. Uh Gimme Barnick. Just barely got him out there first. Holy shit. Alright, he gave us that one. Let's see if we can hit him with the change up here and get a strike out. Or not. Whatever. We're through five. Swing at everything again. Wow, look at that. <laughs> All the way out to left field. Oh, fuck my ass. Damn. That's a foul ball. Uh, unfortunate. I wasn't ready for that. I, I felt like it was going to be just on top of the zone, just outside of it. Damn it. There we go, they can freaking base it finally. I wasn't taking no chances with that. Ah, uh, nuts. And that's through. Just like that, it's all over. Alright, time to get Barnick in the game. Don't want to make things any worse with his plump stamina being as low as it is. Got that, got that nice, nice left-handed pitching style. <laughs> Maybe not.
Nice catch, Lambert. Nice catch. Leaps into the air for that one. Yeah, you gotta get the thumbnail for this. Yoinks. Just flat out yoinks it out of there. Alright, that's good. Eventually, I do plan on changing what the current thumbnails are on these streams to so what's uh, some of the screenshots I take. I like doing that. I like having the screenshots be the thumbnail. There we go, finally a strikeout. Damn, that jump flew by. And that's not it. I can't tell with some of those. I wanted to pull up to the right. On the right field, but that would have been one that should have pulled on the left. I can't really tell. Not that one. Don't swing at that one. Drop. Nah, just stay at second. That wasn't it. That wasn't it, Chief. That wasn't it. I was hoping that was not it. Sucks. We had a good chance to get some semblance of a scoring, and that didn't work. Thought he would give it to us. Thought we had it. There we go. That's the strikeout I was looking for. Boom. That was not the plan.
And that's three. There we go. Austin ran out to left field. Unfortunately, he's too slow to get us a double, and I'm not taking any chances. Ooh, that was pretty much the same pitch as that last one, and I was late on it. Damn it again with this, man. I'm getting, I'm getting my legs pulled, bro. I'm pulling my leg over here with these. Here you go. Get out. There we go. John Bowles with that nice hit. So ready for that. I was ready for the change up and it just it just drops every time. I'm never ready for that sudden drop, man. Yes! <laughs> the bases are loaded and we have two outs, man. Fuck. Knowing this team, we're never gonna get a home run, especially when I'm using them. So, we're just gonna have to get a base hit, man. It's just gotta be a regular base hit. Come on. There we go! We got a run! Let's go! <laughs> we got a run in. The lead is now down to three. That was not in the zone! DiGiorno. I don't know why I said that. I just sounded like I was mostly said Dazo. That was there. That was the one. That was the one. That was the one. Damn it. Oh, that's not enough. Damn it. Ah. So close. Just had to rip my heart out with that one game. I had to rip my heart out with that one. <laughs> You're breaking my heart! Don't know why I'm speaking it. Don't know why I have the Italian accent. Mamma mia! You're breaking my heart! Mamma mia! That was a quick three in, three out.
There it is. There it is. And with that 93 speed, he's got to get around the bases. Around the bases. Around the bases. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cooking. 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 Get that triple. Get the triple. Get the triple. Come on. There we go. There we go. Already in scoring position. That's me slapping my leg. Come on. Everyone down the middle. Come on. Bring it. Bring it. Man. Right down the middle. That was the one! Uh, yeah, I was late. I was late on that one. Come on, give me, give me one more. Give me just one more. One more I'll be ready for. Just one more. Yes! There it is. That's it. That's two. At least down to two runs. My gosh, my heart is pumping. My heart is pumping, man. It's pumping like crazy. You make me pump crazy. No, nope, that wasn't it. Uh. Damn it! Too early. Way too early. Mmm. I can never time it now. It's so, so off. That wasn't it. And that's the double play. Shit. We're down by two entering the ninth. I really need to be on my A game this inning. As I give up a deep hit. One that reaches the warning track. And gives up a double. Literally, the timing as I say that. I need to be on my A game. This needs to give up a deep hit into the warning track. What the hell? Oh no, get there, get there. And he got to third. Shit. So... No! That's my bad. I shouldn't have thrown that pitch so many times. <sighs> this team has played so well, and I've just done everything wrong to lose this one.
That that sucked. That that was painful seeing us give up that home run, man. It was a two-run home run as well. And of course, I swing at a pointless pitch like that. No reason at all. And then I can't swing at the changeups. That's not enough. See? Just no just just no power. Like just not enough. It's every time it's not enough. Not enough. Not enough. And that's here. Ambitions dead. I deserve it because I blew it down the stretch. A lot of opportunities to score runs, and I couldn't register them. Too many mistakes. Too many baffling decisions. Like a poorly thrown four seam. One that was in range for them to swing at and make contact with, of course. Clem now is down to two losses on the year, since he gave up four runs in that fourth inning. He's Keisler's at three and three with his pitch record. I mean, this was just not a good game for a lot of guys. Lambert had no hits. Ozuna had no hits. And if you weren't Bowles or Bennett, you only have one. It's not a very good game. And they only had Keys Keisler out there. Fuck, man. God, I hate it when the game does that. It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna leave him out there the whole game. Who gives a fuck? It actually hurts more when you lose and you know your opponent didn't have to take out their starter. That's like the worst way to lose, especially in today's baseball climate. This isn't like 1890, where teams would just have guys starting pitches play the whole game. Ain't that type of shit, man. Um. We'll have this one soon, same way. This dude has a fucking 7 0 record. Holy Jesus. Oh, and of course they have a run. Oh man. It's 1 to nothing. You know what? Fuck it, let's do this. We'll hop in real quick here. Try to try and get a dub here. It's one to nothing. One to nothing. We can manage. We can manage. It's always funny as hell having over see average team versus average team, and they're just very close game. So this is the first for me this entire season. Oh come on, really? I feel like I, with Brant, I need to use power on those change-ups. Or something, I don't know. Just anything. Because that should have been more. And pop up. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have joined. Because <laughs> I'm fucking up right now. What the fuck was that, man? What the hell? Man, they have their pitcher out there. What the hell?
of course they give up the base hit right there. They've actually given up more base hits than us. We just haven't had anyone get to the base or to home base. Oh, really? Really? You walked him? Fuck off. There we go. Damn it. Oh no, fuck. And that's another run, fucking no. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? My friend, what am I doing? Crowd reactions in this game are funny. Are you serious? I just. Okay, this is cool. Alright, I shouldn't have joined. I just. I just fucked up. I just fucked this team over. Hard. Wow, I'm just sucking ass, bro. I can't do shit. <laughs> I'm just constant. That's like four consecutive. I, I gotta get out. I, I gotta leave. I can't do this, bro. <laughs> I just gave them a shit ton of hit. Oh my gosh, I thought we gave up eight hits. They had it entirely. I'm so dumb. Yeah, no, nah, let me just send the rest of the way through. And we lost four nothing. Marrow goes three and six and that Johnson guy is eight and fucking oh what the hell? I'm not even gonna bother with this this fucking game right here. We just dropped to third in the conference so fast, man. Shit. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna jump in this time. Fuck that. If we lose one nothing. We lose one nothing. We lost three nothing. Awesome. We are fucking mediocre in every sense of the damn word. Holy shit.
Why is there our 280 recruit points? Look at this shit. Look at the <laughs> Oh my god. I gotta take a screenshot of this shit, man. Pure mediocrity at its fucking finest. This, ladies and gentlemen, is mediocrity. At least our run scored is 10 to 16 plus to a We have a positive run differential. And we have six in summer bases. It's the second lowest in the fucking conference. Fucking hell. This team, bro. This fucking mediocre record, bro. This is what I've been talking about. Even even our last our last ten games is a mediocre record. Four and six. That's pretty bad. That's that's below average. Holy shit. Alright, I'm gonna see what I can do with these recruit points. Not much has changed. At least I think it wasn't. Holy shit, we brought- If we bring in this John Lee guy, he'll already be our best- He'll be our best center fielder off- out the gate, better than Healy and Lambert combined. He'll be an excellent player, this is why I need to get this guy. Throw the recruit package out and see if that, see if that ex elevates it. Cody, Cody Duvall, not the same, but still, I could still use a guy with 55 contact. He's also got 60 fielding and 60 speed, so that's pretty good. Not to mention he's good academically. Oh, we still have, we still have a scout at his game. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna bother. I think Justin McConnell's has increased. I can't tell. It needs to be like a big jump. We still got a scout going to the game. Tony Levi is almost at 50. He's almost halfway there. Still got a scout at his games. So that's the case. I'm going to start throwing other recruiting points towards other guys. Like Mike Cooper here. Need more. Need, him, need his joint to jump up. We'll send a scout to this game as well. That might bump it up. Tyler Wilcox is over the halfway mark. So I'm going to start pumping points into Mike Tabuchi and Don Fesmir. If I can get them at least. Or no, 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 actually. Um, Bucky Chambliss, Dale Jocelyn. I think they're, they're, they're more priority. Especially since Eric, oh man, Eric Bennett's a senior? Oh man, bro, this is only, this is only gonna be the one year we have him. This is the one year we get to use Eric Bennett. I really don't know what the gauge is interested in. I don't want to dump all of our points just right away. I think for... Oh, he still, scouted. He, he still has a scout in his hand. Um, yeah, I'll, I think I will. I, I think I'll save the points. I'll play the specific game, because we need just one. One damn game, okay? Wait, why did I pop this? Huh? You know what? I'm not even gonna bother asking. We need a win. We're 15 and 14. We need a fucking win. We're at home. We gotta show out for the home crowd here. Well, yeah. 
I think for this one, we're gonna give Hasegawa- I'm gonna give Hasegawa the chance to start. A little death by bolt kind of deal. And for this one, we're gonna have Wayne Chen play this one, in this first game. Oh, that, that's not what We're gonna have a B at the bottom of our lineup. We need a win here. They're starting a guy with no fucking wins and has an ERA almost at four. We need a fucking win here. Alright, let's do this. We need fucking win here, guys. <laughs> need a win on three! That's the chant that they just had in the huddle. I need water. I need to fill. I need to get a water cup or something. I don't think I have any, any water on me. Pacific's jerseys make me think they're the, the San Francisco Giants. Oh god, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I had to go and spit out phlegm. That was disgusting. Alright, that's good. Oh god. No, 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 no. There we go, that's a good start for Hasegawa. His first start on the team this season. Oh boy. Catch it. There we go. Just in the mic. Oh, 
fuck, I let go too soon. Damn it. I released it too soon, and it resulted in a run. I'm not gonna land stand or anything, that was just so stupid. I gotta, I gotta be better at timing on that, I swear. And again, once again, can't time it. Through three, but damage has been done. A home run to left field has been made. Not to mention, Hasegawa is almost out of stamina. Well, not, not almost out. But he's reaching the 60s for stamina. Not very nice. Alright, that's a good start. It's weird, man. This team has it when it comes to contact, but just can't send the ball deep into the, the outfield. Get it over the fence, over the wall, and all that stuff. There we go. That puts now Bennett and Lambert into scoring position. Are you serious? I can't get power hits, man! I can't get that to save my fucking life! It's like, again, rule of thumb. No power hits. That's how this shit always ends up happening. No power hits whatsoever. It's fucking insane, man. Please, please drop. Thank you. That gives us the lead. Wow! I thought I timed that. I thought it was higher up in the zone. Damn. Like that, but you know, still in the zone. That ain't it, Chief. That was not it, Chief. Don't catch it, thank you. And we still have one out. See the green and I still, or the yellow with a little X. I still small. Oh. oh fuck! And somehow that was it. What the fuck? <laughs> he could have just threw it to first. He didn't. He could have just threw it back to the shortstop. Would have gotten me out of third. He didn't. He could have thrown him to second. And he didn't. I don't know how the fuck. And that didn't. No, that didn't mean shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. We're gonna have to grunt and grind our way out of this one, folks. This ain't gonna be easy, even if they are 8 and 17. Oh. Dude, his stamina. Bro, I can't even get it full anymore, bro. He, his stamina just 
shot down. It's shot down the six, bro. I'm gonna have to be ready for this. Uh oh. I mean, it was gonna catch. If Mayer was gonna be able to catch it, but you know, you don't want to see that when in the last inning you gave up a home run. It's not a very good look. That was all in the first inning. Three runs in the first inning. That's insane. You know, like that. You don't really want to see that. The oh, way. Hey, what are you doing? Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Hey. Eh, bullshit. Like, I say bullshit, but he fucking ran from... Mid middle between third and second, ran back to second, tagged it, and ran all the way over the third still. That's the bullshit part. That's a pop up too while it's there. Thank you, Fior, for catching it. I can have no nice things. I'm not going to say anything off of that. You already know how I feel about that. Oh, damn it! I was. Couldn't time it properly. Could I? Just couldn't. Just couldn't time it, man. Just can't. Just can't time it. Oh wow, he's actually pretty much shot for stamina. Jesus. Oh. 
Well, you know what? If you can't get this out right here, then yeah, we'll we'll, we'll to I'll pull him. All right, that's it. Number three, but we have the lead for now. Finally, a change up I hit properly. A little liner to midfield. There we go. There's a little outer. I'm surprised he didn't keep running the second, but whatever. You're always bad at the buttons. And Brant is in. Fior runs the second. Fior now advances to third. We get another run. That time it's Fior that we have. That's another hit. I think that's... What was that? This is that. I don't even remember because I keep forgetting. I think that was... Yep, it was. It was not over. Really. That ain't it, Chief. Need more power on it. I forgot to take Thompson in for fuck. Fuck. Thank you, Fjord, for saving my stupid ass because I forgot to take him out. All right, we got some of them now. Let's not let's not take any more chances. Take what we've been given. Grab the charger from the phone. I need a second. All right, sorry about that. My phone's broken now. I'm taking my time with this one. See, look at that. Look at how I took my time. Not not being concerned with throwing in the zone. Worked out in our favor. Oh, are you fucking serious? Oh, thank God. Thank God it was just a fly out. It reached the warning track and that's about it. No, let Chen reach base, you bums. Fuck off. <laughs> he did such a good job making contact with it. I feel like I should change the, some of the ratings when the season's over, depending on how well guys perform. Like, if a guy has, like, Lambert, for example, who's only a junior, it will be a senior next year, he has 52 contact, but clearly is able to hit better than 52, the rating 52 suggests. So I'm like, okay, besides something like that. He should be able to have something higher than a 52 contact. If not power, 50, 
you know, at least his contact should be higher. Maybe not his power, but you know. Ball. I'm thinking about it. No, I'm not sure. It'd be kind of busted to do it to every player. Or at least those who you feel like, oh, he should have this or he should have that. It'll be pick and choose type of thing. Maybe, maybe only, maybe what I can do is I can only pick one player every off season to increase their ratings. Or depending on, I have like two options. Maybe I pick one player but boost the ratings that that are necessary. Or I, I have like a selection of players, but I only do like one attribute plus. I personally add one attribute bonus. So like maybe four players get plus one on a certain rating or a certain attribute that of my choosing. Ah oh, fuck Thompson. Really? You just gave a back to back hit to start? Yeah, the double play! Let's go! My man is Austin Brandt out here pulling the splits. Let's go! Attaboy, Thompson. Nice work. Nice work, infield. Got him out of us. Got him out of a sticky situation, no? Oh? Alright, we're gonna set Barnick so he can uh, rest up. Nice. That was Brent. I feel like for Brent, if he's here for next season, depending on if he's not a senior or not, he can get an attribute bonus. Maybe like one or two. But yeah, man, because I have a feeling the game's not going to... I don't remember what the game does in the offseason, even for my test. I don't know how the attributes uh, increase or decrease in this game. It could be very... It, it may be very uh, forgiving. It could be very brutal. So, Brand advances to second. And we have two outs on this. There we go. That's another run for this one. Austin Brandt gets in, and Bowles gets the second. Oh wow, the catcher actually dropped that one as well. That's it. No, it's not. Never mind. Don't attempt it. Don't attempt them. And that's it for this inning. But it's fine. We got we got runs in. Six to one. There we go. That's another fly ball out to left field. That's one out. Here we 
That's two, and we can just get Felipe George out. Nice catch for Bennett. And three up and three down. That was not the right decision. I Swinging at it was okay. I just tried to pull it or spray it over to left when I should have pulled it to right. Oh. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Oh, they're getting the bullpen ready. Another stolen base for Eric Bennett. He's just going to have to be the guy that gets stolen bases constantly. Especially since this is the only season we have him on the roster, man. We gotta make the most of that 93 speed. Every game I use, I gotta get a steal with them. Especially when he's on base. He's gotta get on base every single time, man. There's no, we can't, from this point forward, Ben has gotta get on, on base. I don't care which base it is, he's just gotta get on base. See, look what happens when he gets on base. He gets a run in and he gets forces them to shell their starting pitcher. I'm not even mad that I fucked up there. I'm just disappointed. Like my parents are <laughs> with me. <laughs> Son, you are a constant disappointment up here streaming. But they already have a little job. They are they are disappointed. They always tell me that they're proud of me. That's what they say, at least. I could very well be a disappointment in their eyes. They just won't admit it. I feel like it's an imperative that we win these games against Pacific. Under under no circumstance we can allow them to win a single game. We need to win this one, get through this game, and in the next game we gotta come out we gotta come out of that one with a dub. We gotta win these next two man, because if we whether we face Hawaii or not this season doesn't matter because they're probably the best team in this conference. That loss those those three consecutive losses to Louisiana Tech stung like a bitch. We need to we need to bounce back and Pacific here is the perfect the perfect victim for that type of bounce back. Oh, I walked him. 
Via the walk off? I heard the not walk off, lead off. No, no, he wasn't. I forgot I had one out already. I'm, I'm trying to get him out. He just won't swing at anything. Yeah. There we go. Double play. <laughs> All that time waiting for that. And it was a really good double play at that. That's not what I was expecting. Oh. Fuck. Well, I'll fall over. Run away. Nope, that's not that's not it. <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't know why I'm swinging at this. Somehow that was a base hit. No fucking idea how. And of course, Wayne Chen is too damn slow. So I know so I know now that Eric Bennett is a senior. Um Maglio Bull is a, sen uh, a center, senior. I know Eric Bennett is a senior, and I believe Maglio Bull, he is a senior as well. So Wayne Chen's going to be the starting catcher for next season. He should be good enough to take that starting position. He's only a freshman, and he'll be a sophomore next year, but, you know, we have three starting pitchers, all who are sophomores right now. So it's like um, nobody gives a fuck what, what, what grade level you are. Or uh, what class you are. You can be a freshman, don't give a fuck, you gonna start if we have to. If we have no choice. That was way too far out. Don't even know how that was possible. put Ferris in the game because we're almost done with this one. It's only the top. I should set him. Set him for now and have him warm up when he, like, when during the bottom of the eight. Woo! Backwards K. Backward K strikeouts. Whenever the batter chooses not to swing because they have no fucking idea what you're throwing. One down. You have to be very precise in timing the, the throw to first, second, third, or home. Or any of the where you're throwing for that matter in this game. Because if you do, you'll be able to easily get an out. Sadly, still no fucking, um, what is that guy's name? Uh, I don't remember, but we still don't have him on the fucking roster. We're missing a relief pitcher because he's out with like a broken, in, a broken limb of some kind for like two to three months. And he broke that, but he, the only fortunate thing you can say is that he broke it in the first month of the season. The hope is that he can come back for the conference tournament. That's my hope. Go. 
Wow, what the fuck was that, man? That was a lucky ass bounce. What the fuck was that? Like dinged off his face or some shit. How? Oh, how? Okay, what? It's to the left. I have the left stick going left, trying to spray it over the left field. It still goes right. Those are the one, the more confusing moments in this game. Other than that, this game is perfectly fine. I have to move the mic because my controller cord is getting underneath the uh, the mic stand. And that's the game. We win. A strong outing from the entire team all around. Minus a few pretty shitty moments. <laughs> Excellent game from the team all around. A six run difference for win. Diggins now is 0-6 on the year. Thompson reaches 3-0. And he wasn't even the starter because I fucked up using Azagawa. Bennett almost has 10 stolen bases on the season. That's pretty good. Pretty awesome. Ferris, Thompson, and Hasegawa all have ERAs under 3. That is really cool to have. Also very important to have too. Ferris, Hasegawa, and Thompson have done an excellent job with the injury we have on the team. I gotta look, I gotta look real quick. Yeah, Boswell, Chad Boswell. He's out for one to two months. The hope is that he comes back next month, you know, at the for the arrival of the or not even the arrival, at the tail end of conference tournament, or actually conference tournament, conference play. The meters haven't changed much. But at the same time, I don't have really the point total necessary to want to change anything. To ensure victory, I'm going to play this next game. Buddy Merrill gets the start. Um, I mean, yeah, sure, might as well. Balls is not starting, I don't know why. We're gonna have Conover sit this one and put Bowles in at second base for him to that first one. Both pitchers have three wins on the year. <laughs> but I will say this, I am desperate to get this motherfucker more than three wins. My god. That is certain. Oh shit, I just bumped the mic. Yeah, the B, the 16 of 14 record. My god, we are so fucking mediocre. If you were to go into the dictionary and look up the term mediocre, you'll find this fucking team in there. Because it's 16 of 14. That is just flat out our team. I'm gonna try and play as many games tonight as possible. 
even if it would be totally unhealthy and I have to work tomorrow. I don't work till 3 and I don't give a fuck if I have to go shopping tomorrow with my dad grocery shopping. I don't give a fuck. I want to fucking grind the, my ass off on this game. You know, because unlike a certain other YouTuber who hates Elden Ring, I don't have a problem with the grind fest. You can call this game a grind fest, that is. Wow, that was way lower than I thought it would be. Oh. And that was terrible. Meryl, please, get this fucking out, dude. Stop pissing around. Stop fucking around with this guy and knock him out. Not literally, but fuck's sakes. Just get a strike out for once, you asshole. <laughs> I just need him to get a strike out, man. Just, just one strike out every so often, you know. If I can see a strike out, maybe in the first inning, maybe not in the second, and then following that, you go into the third inning and see a strike out there, I'd be fine with that. I'd be perfectly fine with that. Nah, this motherfucker just says, no, I have to give this man a, a scare every time. Scares for days, folks. Scares for motherfucking days. Oh. What the fuck was that, bitch? Well, whatever it was, it led to a fucking fly ball. Excuse me, whatever it was, it led to a fly ball. Spot of my words around for a bit. I think it was a cutter, I'm not certain. Oh. oh baby, there we go. Use that 93 speed, there it goes. Minor PCL spray. What the? F well, that fucking sucks. I was actually hoping Conover could have this date this damn game off. That's not the case. Ah, oh, damn! What the fuck? Seriously? That's like the second, like, random injury that fucks this team up. It's gonna fuck this team up, too. Just watch. You know, because being inconsistent as a healthy team wasn't enough, we're gonna be inconsistent with injuries. That injury is like a fucking bitch slap to the fucking face, man. I swear. I mean, always, there's, there's always worse injuries, but you don't want to see that in general. Especially when it's your player getting injured on a non, without any contact with opposing players. At least we'll get the run in with Conover, but damn, man, that should have been Bennett's run to have. He's a senior, man. He can't afford to have these fucking injuries. He can't afford to miss any game. That PCL spray could fuck him over this season, man. He could be out 
PCL sprains are not something to fuck with. Even if it's like, oh, he's just out for three weeks. You don't want to see that. Like, and they could be worse than that. They could be out. He could be out for a month or two. Maybe a month and a half, give or take. It's the worst case scenario, man. Shit. Now we gotta go through eight innings without him. Both on offense and defense. And he's like our best infielder. What the fuck? Marilyn, you literally cannot fuck around anymore. You have to get out. Wherever they come, you have to get them. One down over here. Honestly now, now with the injury oh. Oh fuck, that's not a hit. That's a hit. Damn. This is every game with Merrill. This is every fucking game with Merrill. Dude, we cannot afford this type of shit. Can you please, for the love of God, get a fucking out? Please. Like, we're, we're it's a one, one out, 0 and 1, and you have the bases loaded. Like, the last thing I want to see from you is you fucking around. Especially when we have no Bennett. No Bennett, and both, um,. Boswell is still out. Like, we have a relief pitcher out, and now we have Bennett out for the foreseeable future. It's literally all hands on deck at this point. You need to be on your fucking A game, bro. I need you. That's a pop up. Throw back to the home. There we go. Oh. 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 He was not ready for that. You can just tell by the way he reacted. He was not ready for that curveball. Or for that changeup, for that matter. Doesn't mean he won't be ready for a slider. Full count. Please, you have to get this here. Runner, runner, runner. There we go! Thank you, Lord! Thank you! This fucking scary ass shit, man. Scary hours like that. <laughs> scary hours like people be falling.
This is just the slowest race possible, man. What the fuck? You got a you got a pitcher versus a guy with like 50 speed, man. They're trying to outrun each other. That was hella close, man. That was really close. Look at that. That was terrible. I'm trying to think of that uh, robot song from SpongeBob. And I was like, do, 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 do. <laughs> Mr. Krabs is a robot! <laughs> On the fucking phone. <laughs> Can you play this song? Hello, I'm Mr. Krabs. Can you play the song that goes doo -doo 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 -doo? <laughs> It's just like <laughs> That was a bro classic SpongeBob man. SpongeBob was at his peak in like the first seven to eight seasons, man. That was top SpongeBob. Got a rule two, get ready for two. Fire three, hit your cut. Get the double play, there we go. Second, Conover is at third or first because Bennett is unfortunately out with an injury. There we go. What the shit? <laughs> And slides the seconds. Because the catcher just refused to throw back to me. Or it's a second speed. Here we go, play one. Here we go, play four, play four. Once again, another guy at second base, I play doubles. 
Come on. Go. Go. There we go. I'll take hits like those all day. We're about to shell their other oh, starting pitcher in this one. Bolsa is actually 81 power. That's impressive. Not that it really showed there, but that was not gonna. <laughs> that was not gonna end. Well. That was gonna be the end of the inning. Oh, they subbed in Tanners for Passage. They shelled him after three. I really gotta put more power into those side of pitches. If they go all the way out there, and like that change up, point all the way to the wall. I need to try and focus on putting more power into those type of pitches. Because those could actually end up becoming home runs eventually. a bit scary because that was in a spot that he is capable of making good contact with the ball. And the slider was out of the zone. That was a very good pitch. Those are the type of pitches I want to see more of. Conover's doing a good job right there. Substituting for Bennett. Hey, two down up here. Right. Yay. Bro, look at that arm. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah! Gonna try and attempt the double steal, which will involve Conover running for second like crazy. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have just went for that one. And we stole the base because the catcher just refused refuses to throw. He fucking faked that shit. I'm looking at the replay. He fucking faked it. That was a damn good catch. That was a really damn good catch. I'm not even mad at that. That gets Lambert in at home, and Conover remains at second, unfortunately. Oh boy, what the fuck was that? 
And it increases the lead, but you know, you don't want to see that. You want to get more than just that. I mean, dude, he just refused to throw. I see the animation, and I had Lambert getting ready to go run from third to, to, to home. And he just didn't throw it. He fucking faked that shit. And I'm like, yo, let me get a fucking run like this. Let me get the double steal for once, you ass. Nice catch, Fior. Nah, that was a bad one anyways. <laughs> just make sure. <laughs> throw throw the first just to make sure it is officially an out. Oh, baby. Beautiful hit. Not so beautiful hit right there. <laughs> beautiful hit. That one, not so much. Same with that one. Not so beautiful hit. Right. Oh fuck. Okay, phew. Scale for my life! Got one. Holy shit, his Eerie's up under three. That's nice. You wanna see that. Oh, that was almost another. Uh, that was almost another catch. I believe that's Balfour. Balfour just barely missed it. He got it. Kudos to him. He got it. I was late. I was sleeping. Caught me sleeping. And just like that, they got to run. I was just praising him because he had an ERA under two or three. And now it's back up to three. Her ball's pretty good. I am mad. Ah, oh, fuck off! Really? You're gonna call that strike? Sure. Okay. Sure thing, bud. And 
right place, right time. It's probably it for Merrill at this point. I don't want to take any more chances with them. See? Like that. This is probably the last inning he plays in. That was a good one. That was a really good two seam. Got him. Got him chasing. Just in the mic again. There we go. Oh fuck. Okay, crisis averted. Too early. That was probably very early. In fact, I can guarantee that was very much early. Alright, good catch. Can't get mad. These guys think they real slick. They think they cool. <laughs> yeah, I can make those type of catches. I also like to smell pot outside the back of the bleachers. The football, the football stadium bleachers. Just underneath them. Yeah, yeah. They smoke pot underneath the, the high school football bleachers. And then they sit at home and do nothing but play Xbox. Xbox and PlayStation all day. Yeah, what the fuck am I doing? I need to put in Larson. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna make Larson as well a long relief pitcher. He'd be better off than Norris, who is a has 50s all around the board for his four types of pitches. Even if I fuck up here with Larson, I'd be better off making him a long relief pitcher. Oh boy. Alright, got it.
Ah, shit. Here we go. Tried to pick him off there. That didn't work. It worked out in some way though. Got the, got the out right there. <laughs> really? That that's honestly BS, bro. He got there first. It looked like it looked legit. Looked like the game just said, "Here, you can have the out instead of the instead of the base hit." Fuck. That's another, that's another run. Don't know how he missed it. There should be another run here. Oh, why did I do that? That should be done. Oh wait, no we're not. Oh, I was looking more for the, the change up than the fact that it was out of the zone. Nope, terrible. <laughs> oh well. We got an eight run difference. I mean, look at that. Dude, dude throws 91 mile per hour two seams. And he has, and he's just reached the 80% mark for stamina. I mean, he'd be a perfect relief pitcher. Maybe he's supposed to be a starter at some point. Maybe we can put him in as a starter. Cut two, cut two. Hey, middle, we're getting ready to roll pair. Let's roll two, infield. Come in, boys. We're shooting three on a hit now, outfield. Oh. There we go. Get the double play. Get the double play. Boom! Boom, baby! Let's go!
Got him chasing that two seam right there. Excellent work, Larson. Excellent. Let me finish this off with a strikeout. Come on, give me a strikeout here, baby. Give me a, give me a little double. Give it, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Oh, of course not. Oh well, whatever. That's game. Sweep. We have swept Pacific University. They actually did a pretty good job with their hit total. 10 hits to our 15. They just couldn't muster up runs. I know that feeling. It hurts like a bitch. We didn't even do that good anyways. I mean... Oh wait, no, that's dumb. How did we do? <laughs> I forgot. Lambert. Conover did pretty good in replacement of Bennett. He'll never, he'll never be a true replacement, but he did a good job. Magli only had one hit, but he did have two RBIs, so there's that. Brant, two RBIs and one hit. He only had out of four at bats. Fior, one one hit, one run. Ozuna, pretty solid. Three hits and four at bats. One RBI and two runs himself. Balfour, two hits and four at bats. A run himself and three RBI. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty strong stuff. Good stuff so far. Bull, Bennett, Balfour, and Lambert all had doubles. Balfour had a triple. Maglio Bull, two RBIs. He has 18 on the year. Brand has 24. Bulls only has 9, but he was out for like two weeks. Ozuna has 19. That's pretty good. I'm liking what I see so far from the RBI total. Not, I'm sure like other teams have done better considering the fact we got shut out twice to Louisiana Tech. Or... No, it wasn't two shutouts. It was just three straight losses to them. Ooh, okay. So just one to two weeks. Alright. It's still not something I'm happy about, but, you know, I'm not gonna... It's not the worst case scenario. Let's just say that. It's not the worst case scenario. We'll put Balfour and have him start at the base. Man, we, we're running out of fucking lies on the fucking baseball field, man. Oh, right. So after losing three, after losing, or no, we won four straight, then proceeded to lose three straight to Louisiana Tech, then we won two straight now against Pacific. Overall wise, this month we have a two, two and two, two and four, three and four, five and four, six and four, seven and four, seven and five, Seven and six, seven and seven, eight and seven, nine and seven. We went nine and seven again this month. What the fuck? Essentially, we went nine and seven. We still have Fresno State. That's now conference game. That's a that's a real conference game. Again, I have no fucking clue if these things are going to or not. We still have scouts checking out their games, but yeah, I don't have a fucking clue as to what what to expect, what to do. So I'm just hoping. We just need to get through a few games against 
Fresno State. Oh, so we do play Hawaii. We have a double head. They're 20 and 7, bro. What the? Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. No, no, no. Fuck, 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 fuck. Did not mean to do that, and we lost. No, no. Don't. Shit. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. We just lost 4 to 3. Are you fucking serious? And the music is playing, so that's great. That's awesome. I have to fucking. Yep, this video, this stream is absolutely gonna get fucking copyright struck. Cause goddamn, this fucking game does this shit. They just pull the they they just love to pull the rug from underneath me with these fucking. Oh, let's just play music here. When I know when I know for a fact I'm not ready for it. It just comes out of nowhere. It just says I'm tired of playing the non copyright music. Let's go fuck with this man's day, and it just throws that at me. I'm just gonna keep going. It's almost midnight, but I don't give two fucks. Um, we can start Clem, Louis Clem, for this one against Wilson. Uh, live we'll Wayne Chen replace Maglio Bull and have them be at the bottom as well, please. Ah, oh, damn, they fucking beat us in that one. I, and I had no way of helping. A mi- A minus? A- A yo. A yo, what the fuck? <laughs> this game is trying to kill me, bro. What the fuck? A yo, what the hell is this shit? <laughs> game. You want to explain to me why an A minus team like Fresno State is in the fucking WAC conference? I don't even know what our conference acronym is. Why are they here? Why are you here? Okay, I can play the music again. I can play audio. You need to get off the yoga ball now. Pump the shit over accidentally. Tim Wilson. Just me and my best friend, Tim Wilson. I have to adjust the mic again. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to finish this game against uh, Fresno, bro. Definitely not gonna play this next one. Oh. Fucking A minus, A minus. I was thinking maybe B plus or some shit, you know. But damn, got an A minus fucking team over here, Jesus. Oh yeah, they're gonna give me fits, bro. They're gonna give me fits. I don't even think. I don't even think I'm gonna be like. Give a shit. We lose this game. A minus, my lord. What the fuck? All the pitchers have been to the right side of the zone. Until the, as I say, as I say that, right there. At least we get a we get a hit to start this game. In the first inning, we get we get a hit. We can take pride in solace knowing that happened. I took too long to swing at that. Drop. That's twice. We have a chance to muster or something. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Ah, oh, shit. There we go.
The picture is so slow, but Ozuna just doesn't have speed. He just doesn't have speed, man. Fuck. Lord, I'm ready to die. <laughs> I'm ready to see what type of shit they have in store for me. No. No fucking. No fucking better until next week. Oh. If that. He's out for two weeks, possibly. At most. Oh. Look at that ball fly through the air. And Patrick Got him swinging. Got him swinging at a bad pitch, y'all. Let's go. We made it through an inning without giving them any hits. That's that A plus right there. That or A minus. That's that A minus talent team showing. Fuck. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> All into fly out. Fly ball, man. Damn it. Oh, off the glove, off the glove of the, the first base. We got lucky there. Damn it. Damn it, I thought I was gonna have that check swing. Damn it, that was out of the zone. There was no indication that was going to be in there. Snag it. There we go. I mean, we can just battle with Fresno State. That'd be very good. That'd be a good look for us, man. A lot of recruits and other and uh, potential transferees would see it as a as a nice thing. But hey, this team was able to compete with the better with the best team in their conference. As we go up there right there. Right off the chest of the pitcher. And Lambert gets him. That had to look like a bitch. Lambert advances as Balfour gets out of first, but that's fine.
That was not a good thing. Back to the worst case scenario here. Two outs and only one, running one, two, second one. base. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, there we go. Okay, I was scared that the shortstop was going to throw to first, but he didn't. Why? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> no idea. Shit, why did I swing at that? Stupid. And all that for nothing. Bro, the, food, the fucking pitcher is even walking off as it's happening. That is so savage and disrespectful, man. I actually am like, I'm actually mad. <laughs> Part of me is pissed. Like, you're gonna pull that shit on us? Or I bet. <laughs> fucking, fucking be ready. Good catch, Lambert. Oh, pop up. That should be it for this inning. And it is. <laughs> Damn it, that was not the fucking right decision. Should have swung at it. Oh wow. That did nothing. Oh, that's a base hit. That's a good, that's a good pitch.
Come on, really? That was not even a very good slider, yet we got him to swing at him. <laughs> I need to see a guy watching the dog. Watch the dog. That was pretty good. And he got him. He had 85 speed, so I guess it makes sense. It sucks though, because now we're losing. There's a strike out. Okay, what the fuck? Why does the dame do that? How does the ball outside the zone on the left go right when it should just go spray over the left? Oh, here we go again. This shit. That's pretty scary because I have them play shallow. I still do just in case. That's true.
Alright, that's enough. Hasegawa, get him in. These fuckers. I thought I had these fuckers playing shallow to prevent shit like that from happening. There we go. All for a reason. Threw that fastball up high to fuck him up. Drop, 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 drop. Woo! That was a close call. That was scary as shit. Ran with that 53 fucking speed. He probably could be a, a 59 speed or something, given how he's able to turn the corner. And this this the stuff that fucking kills me because I have a feeling where I'm not going to be able to get the run away. This situation has all the makings to not get shit. Yep, called it bullshit. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> we get one guy there and then three straight outs. Guys are pain. And they are probably going to be a pain for a while. At least, if not, at least into next season to be a At least for next season two, they're guaranteed to be a pain in the ass. Dude, how many times are you gonna fumble over the ball, Conover? Look at that. One, two, 
And it was like a third one before he picked it up. Let's also not forget, the fucking count was one and two. We whiffed on a one and two count. I'm not even mad if we lose this game. I'm just disappointed. I don't want things to start. I'm not playing the next game after this. Fuck that. I'm not playing this team. I don't want to see this team until next season. Whatever next season is. Oh fuck, I thought that was two outs. Shit. I had a chance of a double play and I didn't realize it. I did I was not paying attention. <laughs> oh. Enough of that. Damn. Throw a fucking fastball, man. If I known that, I probably would have just swung. And there goes any chance of offensive momentum. Just swung away. Just gone. Oh man, fuck. And that's completely it for the seventh. Fuck. Like, I didn't think he would have the fucking fast, or I didn't think he would throw another fastball, man. That's all I do fucking throws is fastball, fastball. If I, if I had known, I would obviously wouldn't have had him, um, try and, try and steal second. You typically never want to steal second when they just throw fastballs. But there was no, I, I had no indication as to whether or not Oh, this may be a good chance to steal. He's not throwing a fastball. Like, he threw two consecutive fastballs in that one. Come on, there we go. Double play. Of course. Wouldn't it be proper? So close, man. Of course. Fucking hell with this. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come 
Seriously? Thank you. They're up for nothing. But at least we got through. God damn, what the fuck? Hey, get out of here! Well, that sucks. A lot. That's a fucking shot. Yeah, I'm done. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I'm just trying to argue that call. First time all season, still fucking says nah fuck you. You get you get thrown out. It's like, the only reason why it's there is, is a gimmick. It doesn't do anything to change the outcome. You can't, like, talk to the ref. Like, if you call, if you talk calmly with the ref, they won't, like, overlook it. Like, I barely changed the meter to that thing. It would be... What I would hope that MLB The Show does, hopefully for next year, is that you can have your manager argue the call. And what happens is, if the meter is low, they'll... They'll listen to what your demands are and review the play. If you're arguing what the call was, let you review it. And what could happen is, if they mess up, you know, the challenge is successful, you get your play. And, you know, if it isn't, you have the option of going back out there and arguing further about why it was called that way because it obviously wasn't called made by the ref or the umpire excuse me it would have been done by the people in like the studio and like wherever like the, the, the control center is or wherever and these run the second so yeah you can like continue arguing about it and based on what, and based on the type of umpire, like let's say Angel Hernandez, you could get you know thrown out if you continue to argue. Like it'd be such a cool in-depth thing, and I just hate the fact that you know, that will be the show hasn't gone into that sort of detail. I mean, it's not even their fault. They don't have to do that to like, they don't have to put in that type of effort because they don't have competition. That's one of the bigger problems right now with sports gaming is there's a huge just deficiency in competition. One company develops one type of uh, franchise, you know, 
you know, San Diego Studio makes the MLB The Show games, and nobody competes with them. You know, 2K doesn't even try anymore because they're more concerned about microtransactions and my team. You know, they don't even want to make a baseball game. They haven't made one since 2013. And then you have EA, who's notorious for this shit. They're, the, they're always making Madden. Nobody's allowed to make football games because they have an exclusive rights deal that goes until 2026 or some shit. So, woohoo, four more years of this garbage. The fuck? So yeah, you know, it's like, they can't really do anything, or they don't have that urgency, they don't need to do it. I, but it's like, you would respect them more for putting in more effort into their game, even if they know they have a monopoly on it, and nobody can, you know, dictate what they do outside of their own development, and the people that they make the games for, specifically the MLB and MLBPA. I just really hope by next year, we start having game industry, you know, sport, the sports industry starts having competition for their video games because 2K was announced last year to make in 2021 to be making sports game again for for a uh, NFL. Yet we have not heard shit about it. Like we are now, we were supposed to get it in it. It was supposed to come out, then they delayed it till October of last year, and then they delayed it again until this year. Still nothing. And so, it's May. The game was delayed till, like, March, they said. It's still not out. It's May now. Still no news as to whether or not this game is actually going to fucking release. So, I pretty much am giving up on 2K. Like, this was the, my concern, is 2K fucking about and not making it and that's game. 2K fucking about and not actually concerning about making a good game or a, a football game again. I mean, who knows? Maybe they maybe they decided because the NFL season ended. Why the fuck would I continue? Why would they uh, focus on releasing it during the 21 season when they could have it be ready for 2022? I don't know. Yeah, first thing here pops up. In May 2021, they announced that the game would be delayed until March of 2022. Bitch, it's fucking May. No news on the game. Where the fuck is the... Where the fuck is the update? I mean, it's actually kind of... Fu it's extremely frustrating because this is the type of shit 2K has done. Like... If it actually reaches vaporware levels, I'm going scorch earth. The NFL pump. Okay, so 14 hours ago. No, 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 it wasn't 14 hours ago. I don't know why the fuck it says it right here. It says clearly here, March 11, 2020. So it's a lie. The phone is fucking with me. I'm getting all this stuff. No update as to whether or not we're getting. Uh, NFL 2K, so I'm, I'm at the point of giving up because, you know, it's fucking 2K. 2K hasn't been the same since 2K, 2015. That was, when two, the, that was when 2K was at their peak and was a respectable video game, uh, video game developer and uh, gaming publisher, of course. No update whatsoever as to whether or not they're actually going to make a fucking game for it. Wow, we lost 12 to nothing, or 12 to 1. So now we're 17 and 17, and guess what? We get fucking Hawaii next. Okay, well, at least we're at home for that, but there's not much you can really say. Anyways, midseason update. Coach has promised you your Baseball America midseason report is the hot link button. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck that up. Congrats on successful completing the Glove Sponsor Challenge. Check out what our sponsor is setting with. These other one gloves should give our defense some added confidence. Press the hockey button for the blue challenge item. Oh yeah, cool.
Dude, we are now at the bottom. We started- We've lost six straight conference games. What the fuck? Yeah, our record is 17 and 17. Like, we may not even make conference play. It is very possible we could get dropped from playing in a conference tournament. I mean, if it happens, it happens. You know, not everything was going to happen in Season 1. At least our team prestige has increased. Batting's... Oh yeah, look, it has increased. So, pitching is C, batting is B-, minus, fielding is B-, minus, and base running is P. So, shit has actually increased. And Hawaii's ranked fourth. I don't even know if I want to play Hawaii this season. I'm just like... No. Just, just no. We have 270 points. How much is changed on the recruiting front? Um, I feel like I'm reaching the line for the, for the part where we just stop shooting. I mean, we got pretty far. We got we finished the month of March. We got through, let's see, 6, 9, 10, 11. 11 games in this month. Three. We have Hawaii up next. I mean, fuck me, dude. We are actually in a position where if we don't win out, we could be knocked from... I have no idea how the conference tournament works. I have no idea if we have enough win. I feel like we can get 20 wins. We should. We can at least gun for 20 wins, but who knows? We might actually get dropped from playing in conference book, uh, the conference tournament or some shit. So Mike Cooper's interest meter has shot past at the halfway point. That's good to see. We still have a coach sent to scout. I have no idea when it stops and when it, when it continues. Or when it stops. I just have no idea when it does that. It's Nick Dixon on the other hand. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with Dixon. We'll send a scout to this game because that don't seeming it seems like sending a scout to a game just shoots shoots up their interest meter automatically. Like a cheap code at this point. And at this rate we're probably not getting to Gucci. We'll at least be able to get Tyler Wolfox. We hope for more. I need to have myself be ready just in case the game pulls some motion on me again. Let me leave eyes at the halfway point. Now I think it'd be important to just try and gauge the mentors of some of these guys. I think that's simply too cool. I don't think I'll save the points. Uh, I honestly feel like just having these two Hawaii games here soon and just playing the third one. 
So I'm just gonna go through these two. There are rivals apparently. Okay. What? The alumni really want us to give up less than nine earn runs in our April cemeteries against the Hall. Well. Yeah, that's not happening. Top Shoe Manufacturer has expressed interest in sponsoring our program. We had a triple in our April 13th series against the United States State and might be able to get some love and the team in the Yeah, I still don't play, I, I still don't want to play all, all those games. Those double, that, that double either. Oh, we won. We lost. And he's recovered from his injury. Uh, continue the sim. I don't think I want to play him against uh, Hawaii. I'm not sure. So we already failed. We already gave up 12 runs. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna leave him out and put him in for the next game. I'm just gonna keep playing until I feel actually tired of shit. Keep going first. Here we go. Next game against our conference rivals. Supposedly. Our conference rivals. <laughs> They're gonna be like, why the fuck are you still up? I can't sleep. I'm streaming like a madman. And they are a overall. We meanwhile are 18 and 18. Like we are, I've been saying this all season long. We are mediocrity defined, and our fucking record shows it right there. I mean, we're probably going to be mediocre for like the first two seasons, third season if possible, because it's not like we're getting the creme de la creme recruiting. We're not getting top 100. We may not even get a transfer this offseason. We're getting what we can. Whoever is interested in playing for us, that's pretty much who we're gunning for at this point. And right now, I'm just saving up recruiting points for what I feel like should be like the 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 final blow, if you will. How the fuck did you miss that? That was like the worst play I've ever seen from Brent. That play was awful. Like holy shit, that's a I don't even I don't even know how they're not calling that an error. I would I would label that as six errors right there. That's how bad that fucking play was. Either way, we need to try and gun for a win here. Damn it, give me a strike. Give me a strike so I can get a strike out. Or not. Pretty good, pretty good. That was good right there. Oh, 
are, Timmy. We got a double RBI out of it. Fucking hell. Give up a run. Just gonna have to live with that. Eric Dalbert. Oh shit, look at all those 80s man. Advances both of our runners, Conover and no Balfour. I think that was Balfour. Yeah, that was right. Damn it, that was not it. Or it was, and I was just late on it, like usual. Just like that one. He's gonna get it. Fucking hell, how does that shit just hang so fucking long in the air? That's a fast ass sink and I was not ready for it. I swear like that, like an idiot. No. Why? Who the Wait. fuck knows? Fuck me, dude. No. Runners in scoring position once again. Gonna get runs in again. Like I'm not feeling run down. I just like kind of want to tone it down at this point. It's getting late where I live. It's almost 1 a.m.
Double play, there we go. Good catch from Balfour. That slider fucked me up, man. That dude has an arm in our field, man. Holy shit. I gotta be more ready. I noticed, I noticed it already. It's a 90 sink, sinker. I need to react when I see the pinkish purple. Let's show us one with that. That was out of the zone. See, like, I know it's a 90, and I and I can't tell if I should swing at it. It's throwing me off every time. I'm messing myself up. That's it for this one. They just get all the breaks with all these lucky flyouts, you know. Seriously? And he fucking still ran from he ran from second to fourth to oh, fourth. Home base, man. Fucking hell. He dropped it somehow. Bad hands, I guess. 
That is the lucky fucking break we needed right there. We need to get... We need, we need to produce some runs, you know? Like, like now. We can't go another inning. Shut up. Good pitch. Can't, can't, can't fault. Can't fault anyone but myself. Oh, come on, dude! We need to produce runs, and we're not getting it. We're just not. Please drop. Please drop. Please drop. Thank you. We have a run on the board. That was a close one. Don't ask what don't know why I swung at that one. Just wait a second longer. Millisecond longer if you have to. I mean, we got the run I was looking for, but I was really, I was really gunning to tie this game up in that third inning. We need to still claw back. Oh my gosh! Like, Earl, why do you have to be so useless? How do you not turn around in time? Really? This team is a fucking... This team has some work to do, man. We have our work cut off for us. I mean, we're better than most teams in most cases. Specifically, like, teams C- minus or lower. Like, our grade level is better than that, but, man, we have a fucking work cut off for us. Guys have to develop so many aspects of their game. And they don't really have the time as they are now sophomores or juniors. That was a good catch from Dolphin. That was very good. For that, you've earned the reward of me taking 10 seconds out of the stream to highlight this. That was all of his neck. And you've earned another 10 seconds of me taking time out of the stream. To record another. Because that one was even better than the first one.
Finally, a strike out. About time. Good hit from John Bulls. That's a good way to start this. Bulls took too long to run. That's his fault. Somehow that has happened twice in a row. No fucking idea. Yeah, what the fuck? It would be fucking great if we could have gotten a run in there. And we're running to the gap. Fucking leave him there at this point, I don't give a shit. That was just getting irritating. Go boy, turn two right now. Here go play in third base. He got it. I would prefer ending the stream on a win, as we started the stream with a win, but you know, it looks like getting further and further away from me. And that's another run because of the sacrifice fly. So the motherfucker that kept running back and forth at third base still got him. Okay guys, can we get our shit together and start pumping out more runs? Drop. No, no, no. You won't drop once you get past the infield. No, you have to drop once you're out there when an outfielder can catch it. Fuck off. And of course, that. Another perfectly good ball to, to the badass. 
nothing to show for it. You know, if we just go with a mediocre record, whatever that is, if it's like 24 and 24 or some shit, you know, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna shit bricks or bass any sort of frustration. I'm just gonna live with it, man. I mean, to start this, to start this dynasty off with a mediocre record, Honestly, isn't a bad thing. It's much better than what I have foreseen in the future. And what I've seen recently, that is. You know? It's not as bad as most cases. But we can start this dynasty off just absolutely fucking awful. You know, like barely any wins. 10 game losing streaks out the wazoo. I mean, there's a lot of ways that this, this can fall apart. So, to have this sort of mediocre start to the season it's not even that bad this is the first season so there's a lot to improve upon there will be a lot to improve upon i'll make sure of that so right now it's just you know growing pains can you fucking throw lower than that for fuck's sakes like chen has 99 uh throw his arm is 99. Like, it is near impossible. Like, nobody has attempted... Every time Wayne Chen has, has started at catcher, nobody has even attempted to steal base. Not once. It is insane. How many times... I'm happy we got that shortcut, by the way. It's insane how many times I've seen Wayne Chen start. Nobody's attempted to steal a base on him. It's like some Yadier... Yadier... Uh, excuse me. Yadier Molina type shit. Can I please get a fucking power hit? I have it sticking up. The left stick is going up. Can I get a power hit, please? Like I'm drained for one. No, no, I'm not gonna get shit. Every con every single one of those were some weak ass ground out to the third baseman. Like what the little fuck was that shit? May I have enough footage to look back at this first season, either with envy or not envy, uh, either with pride or disgust. So I'm not even like concerned about slowing down at this point, especially with everything else. Because at this point, I'm reaching like a crisis point with NCAA 04 as to whether or not I actually edit the rest of the games. Because I've only been able to do two games, the footage of two games. I've only edited two of them, and neither of them I'm finished with. So I'm reaching a point where I'm like, I either get my shit together and take some time out of the day, if I if I can, to edit the footage. But at this point, it's like, I'm getting more out of streaming. So I'm, I have more incentive, and I have a better reason to just can the first season of The Finding Illini and start over. Because I'm getting more done this way. And with only like 12 games to play, I could be done with the first season by like next week or some shit. So, yeah, I'm probably going to be done with the, that whole shit. Until I know for certain that I can just sit down, make videos. There's no way I can I, I can keep that footage. I mean, I could keep it because there's some games that are, I, I actually want to hold on to. I'm not going to use it to like study film or anything. I actually want to go in with like a clean slate of... But yeah, I'm really reaching that point because it's like, look at what I've been able to do here. I've been on the same games. I've been able to. I'm almost done with this first season. We're in like, we have like a month left. 
February, March, April, May. We're in April. We're almost into May. It'll be tournament time soon. So we're almost done with the regular God damn it. We're almost done with the regular season. I'm sure if I got like a weekend with fighting a line, I could be done with like the first week and the first three days. Cause I can I can probably get what eight minute quarters. I can get like two games in every stream for a whole week and be done with the first season by the end of it. So I'm really reaching that point where I just like fuck it, just stream it. And yeah, I really am. I really am. If I can't, if I can't, it's gonna depend on this weekend. I'm gonna be out of town, so I'm not gonna be able to stream, and I'm not gonna be able to work obviously because I'm gonna be at my uncle's. If I can sit down, because I'm bringing my hard drive and a mouse, and edit the fucking footage out of it like there's no tomorrow, which in many ways there isn't, then that's that's the only way I'm gonna be able to. Um, hold on to that first season's footage because once I can record the audio and start editing it I can just start pumping out the videos like boom 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 on top of that I have the New Orleans Saints franchise I gotta deal with I gotta get back to that so I have a lot on my plate yeah I I'm done I don't want to fucking play Hawaii anymore I'm done this team pisses me off Fuck that shit. I'm done. I don't want to play them. I need to get water so I can, uh... I'm not even tired. I'm, I'm, I'm streaming for nearly five hours. I'm not even tired. <laughs> yeah, of course you're not going to be fat as Ugh. <sighs> Fucking bullshit. Yeah, no shit we didn't complete the bullpen rival challenge. You, you, you expect us to do that against Hawaii? Alright, let's see where we are recruiting guys. Grab the two points. So if I can get in a stream tomorrow, and probably not Friday, because I'm, I'm getting picked up Friday, so I won't be able to stream. So if possible, I may be able to squeeze in if possible tomorrow's stream. Probably not tomorrow morning, or today. Probably not this morning because my dad's going to want me to help him get groceries. So what I could do is squeeze in a stream when I get home from work. So there's that, and that's an option. But I think I can get in this New Mexico State series. And depending on which... So let's see here. Um, Cooper, we'll be able to get Cooper at this rate. Dixon is now on board. We have a good shot at getting him. He has a very good chance of having high fielding. I like that. Need that as a replacement once we lose uh, Magdalene Bull to graduation, which is a senior. You see it right there. He's 86 overall, by the way. Um, then you have Tyler Wilcox, who looks like. Yeah, yeah, he's on the halfway. He's at the halfway point. Dale Jocelyn, we still need to try and nab him. I have not done anything with this cat with this cat ruling guy. I think we'll do the I think what I'll do is play New Mexico State, then send him into the middle of next week, and then what will happen is I can save Nevada and the final series of the year, which I think is against Sacramento State. So we host Sac, 
we either host Sacramento State or play at Sacramento State. But we have them to end the season, the regular season. Great man. New Mexico State, Nevada, Sacramento State. We gotta win a lot of those games to have a, to have a sniff at playing in the tournament. For now though, I need to focus on this. No way we can do it. Send head coach, kind of not them. Um, I think just the recruiting package, that should be enough. That's that's 40 points right there, along with the, the coach scouting his game. So that should be enough. Tony Levi. He's like halfway. Not like super halfway. So we need to pump that over. So send him a recruiting package. Justin McConnell, we don't need to do too much with him. I don't think it's, I don't think it's an issue. We'll just keep, we'll, we'll send him a email for now. Cody Duvall. Recruiting package for him. We need to make sure he comes over. John Lee. We'll send him. We'll send him. We'll send him. We'll this was the week where I'll, I'll use as many points as possible. I'm gonna put some points into. Uh, Bucky Chambliss. At least that. That should be good enough. That's a lot of points. That's the most. That's the most in one week. That I've used that and I'll send points towards Mike Tuchel's way. So we'll have 20 left over. So we're ranked 82nd in the nation, we're 6th in conference standings, and we have New Mexico State who's ranked 5th in the conference. It is imperative that we win a game here. We are 18 and 19. We're 6th in the conference, but I have no idea where the cutoff point is. There's 7 teams in this conference, and I have a feeling we need to be in that top 4 to ensure will be in a conference tournament game. So we need to we need to fucking get our shit together. So we're playing this game right here. Starting their relief pitcher, Ulysia. We have Barry Coleman starting. And now is the time we bring back. Oh, wait, I have an activator. Active. And let me say real quick that we just did a fuck ton of games. A shit ton has changed. And if something gets lost. I will flip out. Oh shit. Yes. We can be able we can play at least one more game before I call it. For the, for the evening. So one more game. We could we can get one I can get one more game and then send the other two if necessary. Probably like can send them in a way that I can intervene if necessary. So in case that my anything happens, at the very least, we'll be here. Bring back the one and only. Why the fuck? 
focus me in. Okay, there it is. No idea what the fuck that is. Alright, here we go. Gumball is all in five and has an ear rate of almost eight. We need to fucking win this game. We cannot afford to lose anymore if we want to play in the conference tournament. Or at least have a good place in our conference tournament. I could see us either taking an opponent to the brink in, in the opening round series. Or we just... We'll, I, I can see this team do one of two things. We either take our opening round opponent to the brink if we make it there, or we go on a deep run and get to the conference title. Either one is acceptable, honestly, at this point. Like, I have no problem if we lose in the first round. Because, honestly, this season has shown me... A lot of the season has been just mediocrity. And it would be fitting for a mediocre team such as ours to be knocked down in the first round. I won't even be mad at that point. I'll be disappointed, obviously, and I'll be a little bit frustrated, but I won't be, like, mad to the point of, like, where I've been in the, the stream the other day. As we give up a leadoff hit. God, we need a we need a center fielder with more arm. Lambert's good, but I, I, I really would like to have a guy with arm because the dude at first almost made it to second. Get that, there we go. Good double play right there. That's a good way to start. Now we get to offense. Fucking eighty five. Yeah, th that, those 60 overall ratings for, uh, those 60 ratings, man, for those pitching types. Yeah, that's deceitful. Very, very deceitful. That's a strike, isn't yep. it? Funny enough, the fucking guy says, yep. Just as I asked that shit. I have no idea why the catcher didn't throw it to first. Like, I made a huge mistake and they just don't capitalize on it. Don't know why, but whatever. Oh, 
Well, that was stupid. Because now we have two outs. No runners in. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't feeling comfortable swinging at that, even if it wasn't. Even if it was hittable. I want something that feels more feasible. One that will, I feel like will be more capable of reaching the outfield. Well, I was hoping it was that, you know, to prove my point, of course not. Lucky ass fly ball. His ups are not making easy. They're shrinking our size of the zone, man. Our size, the size of the zone right now is incredibly small. Fortunately, we have a pretty solid infield. You guys are not the only ones that throw pretty good splitters. That was a good catch. Good catch from there. I need to swing earlier at that, because I think what happens is that early part reaches the right end of the bat. Allows it to pull into left field. Shit. All he was doing was trying to figure out what spot to throw it. I was thinking he was going to throw it outside of the zone. He's throwing me off. But didn't work, good old center. Good base hit. That's a very good base hit. Drop, drop, drop. Very good strike. Strike out.
I'm just laughing at a joke when I was there, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was thinking of a joke from earlier, I was watching a video. Nice. I have a feeling they're, what was it, 13 and 20 record? Maybe very deceitful. Like, I feel like they should be much better than 13 and 20. How do you not dive for that? You, the ball is already there, and he just takes forever to get the throw. It doesn't help when Magley Ball takes forever to wind up his, his arm. Fucking 73 speed bullshit, man. What the fuck? At least that ends the ending. Fuck me, that's so stupid. <sighs> Alright, here we go. What a lucky ass catch. Really hoping it would just go into the outfield, but you know I'm I'm not lucky. I ain't lucky like that. Not the grind for these wins, folks. and be a bit lucky at the same time. I don't know how he's not calling that strike it, man. Take your base. Sure. Okay. That's cool. He's not even trying to keep it in the fucking room. Just keeps throwing it out of his...
fucking really? Thank God, that was an excellent catch for Brent. Take an angle right there and there. I gotta call it out there. Fuck off, really? Just no fucking power behind his bat or any of them, man. If we could have a guy with like 95 power, they'd be home runs all day. Look at that. Look at that shit, man. 81 is just not enough. Consecutive hits. That's a good. That's a good uh, little sight to see right there. Small developments. And that's about all we'll get. Why? Because nobody can have a fucking power hit on this team. It's actually quite fucking irritating at this point. Makes me glad that we're in a conference like this, the WAC, however, whatever this fucking conference is. Oh, here comes the sneeze. Get the Hasegawa, his ERA is jumped up. Let's get started with him. Thank God we got him to swing at that. And that's it for the end. Pitches, man. I 
was ready for that one, though. There we are. That's his 10th stolen base on the year for Eric Bennett. 10 for the senior. Fuck, that was, that was the walk. That was the walk right there, and I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot with no sense of fucking observing. Okay, I made up for it there. That was a good bunt. Good bunt. That moves Maglio Bull and... That is Maglio Bull, right? Yeah, Bennett and Maglio Bull have now been moved to third and second. So they're both now running, or runners in scoring position. That's... That's the run we've been looking for all game, boys. Perfect, perfectly done, perfectly executed. The bunt, then the sacrifice fly out into left field. Then it runs in, gets the run. And now we have two runners in scoring position again. But we have two outs already, so we need to be we need to execute this next hit with goals. Two more, two more, here we go. Oh my gosh, I am not expecting plays like that from a fucking D minus overall team. I shouldn't underestimate that. And I won't ever see that. Never gonna underestimate teams like this again. Otherwise, they will pull the, the rug from underneath you. And nobody likes that. This may be it for uh, Paul Bird. I'm just gonna get Hasegawa warmed up in the bullpen again. Depends on how he reacts. He's already got one out. Alright, may have been over exaggerated. That's six now. Inches from touching first base. What the literal fuck was that? It bounced off and then he like caught it. It was not a normal it was not a normal play. That was not normal.
Here we go again. Why the fuck would I do that again? I'm just gonna keep having him warm up, just in case. You never know. You know, you want to have him, you know, warm up a little bit, then let him sit, take a break. You know, let that arm sh stretch out that arm. Don't wear it out. That's what you want. That's, that's what I want to do right now. I don't want to take Colbert out while he's giving up, while he's helped shut out our opponent. And I don't want to put in a uh, relief pitcher in if we don't need to at the moment. Especially when we're through seven, pretty much. We just got to get this last guy out. has done an outstanding job in this one. He is he has redeemed himself for now. Doesn't make up a lot of the losses earlier in the season like to Pitt for example. I believe he started in that Pitt loss. Me there for a second. Had me there for a second as well. Just no power bats. Nobody has a power bat on this thing. Now I'm throwing myself off. I mean, my kingdom for a power hitter. That's where I am at this point, but at the same time, it's like, I, I need to be patient. It, it'll come. Someone will eventually be on this team as a power hitter. And when that day comes, Fresno State and Hawaii are fucked. Louisiana Tech as well. Louisiana Tech, Fresno State, Hawaii. They're in deep shit because now we're no longer a mid-tier team. We're not... We're not the bridesmaid, we're gonna be up there shelling out some damage. Now would be a good time to have Hasegawa in the game. I think, I think we can do this. Jesus Christ. Okay, well that's not what you want to see from your fucking relief pitcher. Makes me almost regret taking uh, Colbert out.
Thank God. I was scared that he wasn't going to swing at it. And there was going to be a full count again. I'm trying to turn, uh, I'm trying to turn into a double play. There it is. That's the double. That's the double. That's the fucking double. That's a fucking double right there, bro. My energy levels since yesterday have been fucking on point. Holy shit. And now to bring in Lucina to start warming up in the relief. He has not been used a lot, I can tell, because he is a fucking ERA of still under three. He's just been sitting there waiting to, to get back in, because either we've blown out an opponent or lost badly. There we go. At this point, I just want two runs on the game. I can live with just two runs. A two to nothing to do. That was a close call. Don't know what the fuck happened there, but they blew it. Sexton. There we are. That's the second run. I'm not going to take your chance. We're up three to nothing now. And now we're up four to nothing. Which Pretty much means we don't need uh, Lucina again. Now this is where the D minus part of their team starts to show. Error on error on error. Look at that. Back to back wild pitches resulting in Mayor. Mayor getting to third base. Leaving me unready for that pitch right there because I have no idea what the fuck he was playing. And he walked them. I fucking tried it. <laughs> finally had a I finally had the courage to try the double, the double steal, and it failed miserably. It's hard man, that shit's hard to do. Oh 
Nice catch on Sagawa. That was awful. Okay, that's cool. Oh my fucking god! Keep it in the same zone! Are you fucking sick? The heat, or, the heat might fucking get eliminated. They are on the board. Unbelievable. <laughs> We're gonna get the Celtics Warriors finals at this fucking rate. Take your base. Dog, what the fuck? Thank you. I'll take the striker. Here we got two. Amazing swung at that one when the ref had the last pitch be a ball. And that's game. A 4 to nothing victory with 8 hits in total. Mostly thanks to them fucking up in that night. Oh, Hasegawa still got the save. So I guess in college you need to be leading by 4 runs. Because in baseball, MLB level, you just need a 3 run lead to bring in your save. If, he, if he's brought in and gets 3 outs with... And they're leading by three runs or less, they win, or he gets the save. I can tell this was not the best. Yeah, Lambert was awful, only had the walk. Bennett was average in his return. Two for four, but he did get a run. Ball was pretty bad, besides a walk and a hit. Grant was pretty bad, only one hit. Fior, one hit. Rizuna was pretty bad. Yeah, we we barely scratched out this one to be honest. It was not a very good game. Mostly on my part for fucking up so much.
Alright, I'm gonna try to see these two games. And they have two runs, we have two runs. We have a third one. We got seven. And it's ten to eleven to five. Twelve to five, six to twelve. Asegawa is the winning pitcher and Barnia gets the save. His first on the year apparently. Still pretty bad for Lambert, he's now in the 200s for batting average. Balfour, pretty solid, he had 3 walks as well as a top off. So he must have been at bat 6 times. Maglio Bulls, strong bounce back, 2 runs, 4 RBIs, 4 hits. Rant, pretty good, 2 hits, and was walked 3 times. An RBI, 2 runs for Fior off of 3 hits. Ozuna, not good, or actually, no, he would walk twice, and every time he was walked, he got it. There, three for five, three runs, and an RBI. Conover had six of them, holy shit. Pretty strong game for him. They'll do well next season, I feel like. Bulls got a triple, Maglio Bull had his 11th double, Conover his 7th, and Bulls had his 5th. Conover and Barnick had errors again, and Bulls and Lambert got stolen bases. Well, Conover and Brant have got stolen. Clem had two strikeouts, Hasegawa had three despite one block, and Barnick had five strikeouts. Well, I need Buddy Merrill to have his best performance here. Lambert had no fucking hits. Bennett was 3 for 4. Strong came, and he had 4 runs. Brant. He must have gone base via here. Brant had 1 for 2. 2 runs and 1, one RBI and was walked twice. Fjord in 4 attempts had 3 hits, 2 runs, 3 RBIs and was walked once. So he reached base every single time. Ozuna and 5 at bats had 2 hits and was walked. Ball, same thing, one one RBI, also have one hit going on. Balfour, no hits, but he had two RBIs, so I guess he had two sacrifice flies and ground outs. Mayer had no hits, Ely came in and got one hit on three at bats. Oh fuck, is he in here? And Wayne Chen had no fucking hits. And it got two stolen bases, so he's up to 12 on the year.
Oh, thank God. I was, I was scared for my whole life. Congrats on successfully completing the Fleet Sponsor Challenge. Check out what our sponsor is sending us. This level 1 shoe should give us our, our guys some more confidence on the basis. Alright, I think it was, um... I, you know what? I honestly don't fucking remember. What matters is that we won. That's all that matters. We've won three straight. And the next stream we played in Nevada, who was 18 and 17. Then we have Sacramento State, and that's pretty much it for, for the regular season. Oh shit! John Lee, his, his interest bar has went over the halfway bar. Cody Duvall's is, is guess at the halfway point, I'm not really sure. Justin McConnell, his is way over. Bucky Chambliss is... We won him over. Okay. Tony Levi is still deciding. Give a request and take Brian Byers, I think his is increased. So for now, leave... Uh, Cooper, Dixon is good. Um, I think Tyler Wilcox is good, but Mike Tabucha still needs he still needs a Mike Walter. Send another request to him. Maybe that can help. Alright, I think that's gonna be it for now. Um, so at this rate, looks like we can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten recruits. We have a chance of getting ten recruits. Please, don't let me blow this shit. Don't make me fuck this up. Please. Even if the recruit has some low overall as rating, don't give a fuck. Don't make me fuck up, please. Like, I have no problem with Nick Dixon having a 46th grade. He's gonna have to develop anyways. And he's gonna be here for four years, so I'll forget the shit. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this stream. I'm gonna save for the last time, and I'm gonna call it there. Because I got other things to do, like sleep. I've been streaming for almost six hours. Yes. Holy shit. <laughs> Will I, will I be commended for my efforts in streaming for six hours? Nope. I will probably be barely noticed by the world for my efforts here. Streaming for six hours. All of which was gaming. Doesn't matter. No one's gonna give me two fucks. <laughs> this is the life I live. Alright. Thank you all for watching, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good day.